Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. By the way, if you so first time come across this channel, consider supporting this channel and subscribing to this channel. It's the only way that you'll be updated. Don't forget to press that notification bell because it's very important for you to update. And by the way, don't go to forget to go to the TikTok account for the latest updates around Qatar, which is quite very easy. We talk about football, we talk about everything in between. In today's video, we are going to talk about how do you get free jobs. Yes, there are three jo there are three ways I would mention, but I definitely we are going to look at which are easier, and we are going to stick to the most important that you can do to get through uh, what you call free jobs in Qatar. Remember, when I mean free jobs, I'm not meaning that you do not pay, uh, you do not pay anything but for these jobs that the, the ways that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to let you know is that at least if what you have to pay is a 90 percent you end up paying what you call 10 percent which is a very good deal right because you know at the end of the it all once you get that job you'll be earning more than that, that. hope i'm i'm well understood yes one of them is applying the jobs on website yes remember i keep on telling people try all ways try all ways in different formats for example you are going to add, apply for a job online when you apply for that job online what is going to happen if you are recruited that company will give you the visa will send you everything will send you the ticket what when when you uh, when you, you pass the interview they will send you the ticket they will send you the visa and all you need to have is to come with your documents come with your passport get on a plane then come to the company verify that you're physically fit pass the medicals get a residence permit and you start working you've not paid up anything that is one then two we look at recommendation from friends Let's say, for example, so you have someone who's working in Qatar. He can recommend you. He can recommend you wherever he is. Some people have opportunities that in the, the company or have their jobs in the company where people will be recruited, will be, uh, their employers will be looking for people. Depending on how you, the person, you are doing in that company, that's when you'll become a recommender. Then they may request you to recommend someone. Someone may recommend you and say, I, I know I recommend this person, I worked with him here, here and here, this person, unfortunately, this person is not living in the country, he's living out of the country, but in case he's given an opportunity, he's going to come, and when he comes, definitely, he will be a very good performer. However, the disadvantage part of it all, around, most of the times, most of the people we have recommended, I remember, I gave you my story. In 2017, 2018, I recommended people but they disappointed me. They knew what they are coming for, and I explained to them rightly. They expected to come to start from the top positions. I told them, guys, this is where you have to go, and that's why I'm recommending you. All the visas we are sent, all the interviews we are done, you know, they came and disappointed me before even finishing the probation period, which was not good. So from that, I was disappointed a bit, you know. So, guys, if you are being recommended to come and work, please come and work. You can't work. Make sure you don't disappoint that recommender. Because if you disappoint that recommender, you are going to disappoint. You are going to make sure. This recommender will not be able to help the other thousand people behind you. Out of them, out of those people may be your brother. Maybe your sister, or maybe your uncle, in one way or the other. So they miss out those opportunities and those chances in one way or the other. So someone can recommend you. You can also get that opportunity in one way or the other. Then another one is what you call look through recruitment agencies. Although I will not recommend so much with recruitment agencies, but still, still, even if it is a recruitment agencies and they ask you, for example, you're going to do. A cleaner job and these people are asking something like around maybe $100 for 
as commissioned yes definitely if you have it and it's your time to go it's your chance give the try to to look up the opportunity give the hundred dollars and you get that opportunity you remember they will give you free visa they will give you air ticket then you come to the country remember for you to 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 get back that hundred dollars it will just be month one month only because it the, your salary when you come to this country will be even double for you to to replace back the hundred dollars in one way then so you find that uh, you can also get that opportunity in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's mixed from expression. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing and supporting this channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll be updated wherever I upload a new video. See you again.